Welcome to Don't Try This at Home, Antimatter Explosions. Billy wants to tear down this old shack so he can build a modern homestead with all the latest amenities technology has to offer. Too bad the demolition is so expensive. But wait, Billy has an idea. Let's blow it up using antimatter. First, Billy needs to create the antimatter. He uses his particle accelerator to smash protons into metal at nearly the speed of light, creating a shower of various atomic particles. Some of those particles will be antiprotons. That's what Billy wants. Start collecting that antimatter using some yet uninvented theoretical method to hold and store unrealistic amounts of antimatter as if it were sugar. Be careful not to let any antiprotons touch regular protons because if they do, they'll explode. The same goes for electrons and anti-electrons or any antimatter in that case. That's why antimatter remains one of physics' biggest mysteries. There's not much of it to be found because it disappears so quickly. Keep collecting the antiprotons for the next two billion years. Got enough? Let's finally get rid of that pesky old abode. Billy lets the antiprotons mix with the regular protons in the matter around it. Oops, too much. Turns out half a gram of antimatter emits just as much energy as a nuclear bomb. In fact, where a nuclear bomb releases just a fraction of a percent of its potential atomic energy, antimatter releases 100%. On second thought, Billy, don't try this at home. It's just not possible.